Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Very excited to be back on the regular uploads. I'm gonna try to do about two videos every week. But yeah guys, I got another how-to video, kind of a guide video on how to help fix Fortnite. I don't know if any of you guys have ran into some of these issues where your game will just freeze randomly or things aren't loading, like textures aren't loading in properly. Uh, or there's just some weird bugs going on in the game that just makes the performance terrible when you're playing the game. Uh, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys just some common troubleshooting steps on how you can resolve those issues quickly. It can happen a lot of times when you just update the game or simply if you make any changes to your PC. Sometimes you'll just notice a weird bug or glitch happen on Fortnite and you want to get that fixed as soon as possible. But guys, before we go into all those steps, please do like and subscribe. It means a lot to me if you guys show your support. I'm doing my best to try to bring you guys the best content possible to help keep your game running smooth and just in general, give you the best tips and tricks I know. So yeah, if you don't mind smashing the subscribe button and the like, that really does help out a lot. Really appreciate you guys. So guys, it's Kermy the Frog here. I just have something I want to show you guys real quick. It's actually our affiliate on the channel. So if you guys haven't heard of it, it's called No Ping. Because what it does is it basically like reduces your lag and makes the game a lot more playable for actually hundreds of different titles. All you really have to do is just download it by the link in the description. And once you have it downloaded, you can actually just sign in. You get this like free 10 day trial and you can test it out. In a lot of cases, it'll actually drop your ping tremendously. So when you have it downloaded, you'll see this button here. It says test it free. So you're just gonna click on that and then you're basically good to go. Just give it a whirl and if you like it, you can actually register and buy it. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, guys, that's no ping. Definitely go ahead and give them a try. Try it out. You guys might actually find that super helpful, but uh, I'm gonna pass you to another guy that's super helpful. Cameron, get your back in here. Kermy, you're an absolute legend. Thank you for that affiliate shout out. That's right, guys. You can check out No Ping. It's a link in the description. Go ahead and test it out. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you guys do enjoy it, it's like eight bucks a month. It's super dope. So anyways, guys, let's dive back into the video. We're going to be tackling rendering issues, texture issues, glitches, bugs. If your game force quits on you, it basically tackles anything in Fortnite that doesn't uh, that doesn't work right. So let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is just the simplest thing is go into your settings. If you notice any settings that have changed or that you didn't remember changing, make sure to change them back. For instance, on performance mode, you wanna have V-Sync off. V-Sync doesn't really help that much to be honest. So you wanna have that off. Uh, keep textures and meshes on low. And, uh, and then view distance on whatever your PC can handle. I, I just choose Epic. You'll want to have your 3D resolution maxed out. But yeah, that's basically it for performance mode. It's pretty simple. Um, so just make sure all your settings look good because that's like the number one thing that can cause issues that you aren't used to experiencing. All right, guys, the next thing you want to do is something that's super simple, but a lot of people forget to do, and that's just restart Fortnite. The reason being is it's going to refresh the system right away once you reload it and that can help clear up a lot of issues instantly. So for my next step, guys, if none of that fixed it, reopening Fortnite didn't fix it, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is check your game files. To do that, open the Epic Games Launcher, go under your library, and then under Fortnite, you'll get the extra menu options, it's just these three extra dots. So you're just gonna click on that, and then you'll get all these options here. Uh, double check that you're on the latest version, so that should be 17.30 today. If not, you can click on update here or it'll say auto update if you're on that. Um, but yeah, if you're updated, then that's all good. Then you wanna go ahead and click verify. So essentially what this is doing is it's going through all of your game file settings. It's just checking for any errors or any code that is uh, that doesn't belong there or any like corrupted files and stuff. And it's automatically verifying all those files to make sure that they're running correctly and responsive. So it does take it a little bit, takes a couple minutes. After you have it verified, restart your game and see if any of those issues are still replicating. After you've done that as well, the next best thing to do is to go ahead and check for updates down here. You can just type in update. Uh, you'll get your Windows update here. And just make sure you got this green check at the top. That means that you've already checked that you're updated. Um, if not, download anything you see that uh, that you think would help. So. Usually there's automatic updates, but if not, just download them here. 
because those can make a big difference in just updating the drivers on your computer. All right, so at this point, you've done all those steps. You've updated all your files. You've verified the Fortnite game files. Uh, you've even checked all your in-game in settings and all of them look good. If you're still experiencing the issue at this point, you're gonna wanna re uh, restart your PC. So just do a full reboot, power it down fully, and reload it. And what this does is it'll check your like system files to make sure they're working correctly. It also just replenishes your system. Sometimes your system just needs to restart especially if you haven't restarted it in a long time. Like for me, for instance, all I usually do is just lock my computer or put it to sleep. I hardly ever do a full uh, power down and power up of my PC. And uh, yeah, I find that that can help just clear up a lot of bugs and, and issues. And who knows, that might just fix everything for your Fortnite game. So I would definitely do that next. All right, so at this point, we're going to have to split up the troubleshooting a little bit because we're getting into some more complex zones here. I mean, you could certainly try this uh, for the other issues, but now I'm going to narrow it down first for graphic issues. So those graphic issues are going to be if your game's not rendering right, if things aren't loading completely, or if there's just texture issues, like just things don't load in or, you know, like those unresponsive, like uh, graphic related issues. For all of that stuff, guys, this is going to be your next best bet. You're going to go into your settings. You're going to go ahead and go to the bottom under rendering mode. Switch it off of whatever you're on. So in this case, since I'm on performance mode, I change it to Direct DirectX 12 or DirectX 11. Apply it. Restart the game. Load back in. And uh, test the issue again. And if you're still having the same issue, switch it back to performance mode. Even if you do have the same issue or don't, switch it back to uh, performance mode after loading the different rendering mode. Because what this does is it changes API files in your Fortnite game. And uh, basically what that does is it just readjusts everything in your uh, Fortnite game file. So it's, uh, it's a good idea and it, it should help fix those rendering and texture issues. I had to do that a few times last season. Uh, thankfully not this season. And that actually fixed my issues. So if you're having like force quits or unexpected quits on your game, it just happens randomly and it closes out. Um, the next thing you want to go ahead and try is running your game in uh, administrative. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys where to go to run administrative. Your uh, Fortnite game should be under local disk C. Go to program files then go to Epic Games, then Fortnite, then Fortnite game then binaries, Win64, and scroll down until you find Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. So on that one, you just right click and run as, run as administrator. If nothing else, guys, if none of those tips has helped you, um, the last thing that you can do that I know should help with a lot of issues, it's not a guarantee though, it's just reinstalling Fortnite. I know that one's the most time consuming, so that's why I kind of left it as the last tip, but yeah, at that point, if you still are having bad luck and Fortnite isn't working for you and it has in the past, I would just recommend uninstalling and reinstalling the game fresh because that should give you a brand new copy that doesn't have any of those bugs or glitches going on with it whatsoever. But if this video has helped you guys out, please do drop that like and comment what you guys thought about this video or anything that you have in mind. Uh, I love reading through those, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.